Hey guys, oh god, he is freaking out. A uh, quick little aside before you guys watch the rest of this. This is an extra little video, a little extra little tidbit of bullshit. This is all the items we missed, save one, because it wouldn't give it to us. And, uh, yeah, it took us a while. Steven, you remember how long it took us? Uh, a few hours. A few hours. We were very late, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was very late. We were very tired. And you fought a possum. And I fought a fucking possum for a soda! Okay, <laughs> that was the low point of my day. Wait, that's what you went outside for uh, to get a soda outside? Well, okay, the other side of the building has a fridge in it with sodas in it, including like Mexican Mexican cokes made with real sugar. It's delicious. And I was like, I'll go grab one of those. You know, it's a trek here. We're not doing anything. I walked two feet out. There's a big fuck off possum who's just sitting there. He looks at me like, "What the fuck are you gonna do, dickhead?" <laughs> and so we're just standing there, staring at each other because I'm like. Like, I don't want to get attacked uh, by a possum. How long is just standing there? I stood there for like 30 seconds looking okay. at this thing. And it was just staring at me. Like, we didn't know what to do. We both panicked. He just kind of sat there like, do I play dead? Do I attack him? I don't know. And I'm like, well, I'm not wearing shoes, so I'm not going to kick a possum with my bare feet. So, yeah. That was a fun, unexpected event. And then that lasted, to... what, 10 minutes? It lasted a while. That was during the time that I was going, jumping through the crumbling blocks. We'll see that in a bit. Yeah, yeah. I think took the worst a while. part. The worst part was the lights weren't on outside, so I had to walk backwards in the dark, hoping a possum didn't jump out at me from the shadows. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, this is where I got attacked by a possum. Oh, dude. The, oh, the here memories. I am failing away. Yeah, no, you got that one. Wow, well, fairly easily too. Yeah. Well, now, the first this one was bad, bad, and then you kept fucking this up. And I, uh, yeah, you were close. And then, oh, uh, here we go. I'm like, hand me the controller. Let me try it. So, yeah, you can see how yeah, good not, I am. You're not going anywhere. Shut up. I know. Look I at you, it. I think at one point you finally made it up there, and then you were like, no, that's too hard. <laughs> Look how majestic okay, now I there, am. Now, here I am. I'm like a majestic flying gazelle with three legs. Wait, was that still you? Oh. I think it's you. No, the, the controller's now, now back in the me. right hands. <laughs> <laughs> I think I finally said, fuck it, and threw the controller back to you. Man, we spent a lot of time in this fucking room. Yeah, yeah, well, now we're leaving. Yeah, finally. Jesus Christ. Oh. Anyway, what would you think of the game as a whole, anyway? Honestly, I liked the first 90% of it. The like, there were some really cool parts. I thought the, the areas are awesome. The art style is really cool. Minus the suit. The suit can eat my ass. I don't give a shit about it. Um, I think the power is cool. Like, the fusion missile is dope. I think it's great. The use of colors in the game is amazing. Some of the bosses are lackluster. Uh, Ridley's still awesome. He's always awesome. I mean, fighting a pterodactyl is pretty dope, right? Yeah. It was a little easier on this in this game than it is in Super Metroid, though, for some yeah. reason. Well, I noticed he had a hard time turning around. Like, half the time his ass was facing you. Yeah, he's he doesn't come after you nearly as much as Super Metroid, that's for sure. Yeah, well, and there's some bosses that I didn't quite understand. Like the weird, the first boss, the armadillo, didn't get it. Oh, how many times did it take you to get this thing? Nah, uh, two times. Oh, that thing, oh. yeah, but this. This uh, little speedrun doozy. Oh, that's few. three. That's four. I might be counting wrong. Oh, you got... Oh, fuck, dude. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you're like, why don't you just jump through it? I'm yeah, like, look, like, I'm going to show you why like, not. This is why, idiot. Shut up. <laughs> that's when I got to the top and I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the bosses. Like, the first boss, Armadillo, weird. But I'm like, okay, it's an animal. It's in this weird biodome thing. Sure. Success, look at that. But then, like, the second boss is a giant flesh light palm tree that was weird. Yeah, like, I didn't it get looked that like one a, either. Like, like some sort of mutated, fucked up jellyfish well not to mention the the boss to get the various suit is a, a ball it's a giant ball various suit oh yeah it's just a giant you ball. know what? it looked like they took a smaller enemy and like blew up the sprite for it because it's really fucking pixely like they yeah. didn't make a giant sprite like really looks clean the the, the ball thing not even close yeah. oh i remember this puzzle you couldn't figure it out and I was like, yeah. oh, just leave. I got an idea. Leave. And you're like, what do you mean, leave? I'm like, fucking leave, <laughs> idiot. Watch and see how Master shows you how it's done. It takes a while for you to realize I'm right. Hold on. <laughs> you're like, hey, well, it took you a while to, do, to tell me to do that. <laughs> yeah, well. And yeah. I was like, oh. I'm like, see, look, now they're in the foreground. They want to play. 
There we go. Who builds these fucking fish tanks? Yeah. So, what did you think of the linearity of the game? Well, considering it fucked us out of 100%, uh, very little. I think that very, very little of the linearity of this yeah. game. It's bad, actually. It's very bad. It's one of the <clears throat> things that I didn't realize. It was the very first time when I was a kid playing this. I didn't realize how badly linear it is until I played the other Metroids and how much adventuring there is in the, uh, those games. And then I, I played this again, and I was like, holy crap. They really hold your hand. Not only that, but you can't even get some of the power-ups if, if you miss them. Yeah, and there was one, uh, one thing I, re I remember about Super Metroid is, while there were kind of paths through the levels, a lot of the levels looped back into themselves through certain, certain secret doors and things. And that was really cool. This game, not as much. Like, there's the pathways between sectors 4 and 6 and 3 and 9. There's no sector 9. But you know what I mean? And those are kind of hidden, but there's only like six of them. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. And I still don't quite understand what the purpose of the X-Parasite is. Like, uh, what is its role? It, it wants a form? It's already got a form. It's Flubber. It can be whatever. Uh, well, technically, it doesn't... Uh, it's kind of weird, because they say it's both intelligent and not. and not, technically speaking. Oh, we got more puzzle solving here. <laughs> I was like, well. no, that's not how you do it. <laughs> we'll just headbutt this ceiling. It'll work. But yeah, it said they can't replicate a soul, which, I mean, I, I don't know. The X-Parasite is weird. As an enemy, interesting, because mimics are cool, generally speaking. Uh, well, they're not treasure chest mimics. They're just like goopy flubber mimics. Oh man, this this puzzle was BS. <laughs> I love watching you just just jump in circles. It's great, flailing like a dying not fish. Even, not even running in circles, just jumping in circles. Jumping in circles. That's much worse. It really drains. It really takes it out of you too. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, the other day I actually played a bit of this. I was like, oh, what's it like? And that we we're way past the the room now where you're jumping in circles. The next room over, there's a hole. And if you don't jump over it, you fall down. You have to do that shit again. I fell down that thing like four times. <laughs> I could not remember where. I just, like, I kept jumping too soon or too late. And finally I said, like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to. Metroid's not my thing. I'm going to go play Zelda or something. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to play these games afterwards? Well, I've already played some of this. I guess you're right. It's, you know, some. once you start playing it, it's, it's pretty fun. I got to admit. Uh, the control's a little weird to get used to. But, yeah, it's really good. Oh. Yeah, once you get used to them, it's a fairly fun game. And usually there's more exploration, which... Okay, see here, it froze. Suspense. Every time I see the, the, the idle animation of this suit, I can't help but think it looks like the suit is, like, undulating. Like, like it's squiggling. Like, it's alive. It's really creepy. Yeah, the... What was I going to say? The, uh... The GBA graphics are, can be kind of funky. No, I think it's something they programmed in, program, programmed in there. I think they meant for the suit to be alive because you're like a fusion. Hmm. I think that it's just a failed rendition of her breathing. I don't think so. Because otherwise she'd be heaving. Her helmet doesn't move. And may, maybe it's Just to, like the texture moves on maybe her Maybe it's suit. to showcase the whole Metroid texture type of deal. Well, that's what I'm thinking is like the suit is part Metroid. It's like more... How would I put this? It's like an organic suit. This is the dumbest room ever. <laughs> Actually, it's not. No, good. you can't power bomb your way through this. <laughs> what the hell? Some of these are like the. Well, you think of these outside of a game mechanic and in a real world laboratory, and they make less and less sense the more you get. You think about them. Yeah. Like the. How are you gonna get to that room? Gee, you speed boost through it, obviously. Yeah. Destroy everything on your path. Yeah. That's how di uh, that's how scientists do it, right? That's how science works. <laughs> Just jump through the ceiling. Why not? Blow, oh blow the door with a rocket launcher. Dude, these are like Olympic level scientists. They are just cartwheeling and blasting through doors. <laughs> arsonist. Oh, arsonist gymnastics. That'd be fun. I'd watch that. Arsonist. What? Ars arsonist? Arsenal. Arsenal. Let's go with that instead. <laughs> there you go. You know what? No, fuck it. Gymnastics on fire. Like you light the girl on fire, have her do handsprings on the mat, and they have to put her out. I think it's called a circus. 
I don't think they've ever set a a gymnast on fire on purpose. Well, <laughs> on purpose. Like I'm sure someone's been lit on fire on accident. I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, they jump through hoops, hoops of fire. Yeah, but they're not lit on fire. I don't want to be lit on fire. <laughs> that's, Period. That's kind of what I'm, that's almost on my. I'm thinking about putting it on my bucket list is to be lit on fire, like like professionally, like that's stuntman. Your, that's your last part of the bucket <laughs> list. <laughs> no, I'm not just gonna douse myself in gasoline and go light me up, Stephen. No, <laughs> I'm gonna have like the. the I want to see how that feels. <laughs> yeah. I want to know what it feels like to burn alive. That sounds like a fun way to go. No, I mean like uh, like a professional stuntman team behind me. We're like, we're going to put you in your fire retardant suit and get like the fire jelly they put on you that burns, but doesn't burn you. So the fire burns the jelly off you, and then you're like doused in water or some shit like that. There's a weird order to it. I don't know the order. Okay. But then like run around going, bah! and chasing people while I'm on fire. <laughs> you like, probably won't stay on fire for very <clears throat> long. Uh, You can stay on fire for a while. Like It's not like a minute, but you're on fire. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm sure makes it feel very long. Mm, yeah. Look at this prone. difficult puzzle. Uh, prone to panic, too. <laughs> Do not panic. <laughs> Do not panic as we light you on fire. <laughs> That's some great advice right there. Right. What the hell was that? Why are you just burning rubber in a circle for a while? I don't know. I think we were just talking there. <laughs> At these speeds, it looks like they're having a blast. They're like fucking dancing, jamming out. Woo! Oh, you know, I never understood the rocket arms on those one guys. Like, there's still things I have questions about on this series. Wait, which rocket arm? The dudes who jump, and that's all they do is jump. Oh, And they have those fucking guys. rocket hands. Yeah, they didn't used to have those. No, they just jump. Super I'm Metroid. Like, okay, yeah, they jump and have spiky, heavy metal armbands. That's cool. I'm down with that. To each throne. But in these, they're like, no, they need rocket hands. Why yeah. the fuck do I know? Do, do they jump on ceilings in this one? <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. I it's remember that just, one. It's not just Super Metroid? No, I, I remember because it's dumb every time I see it. Oh, yeah. man. We're, hold on. We're down in the single digits. I wasn't paying attention. We have oh, we're almost left. done here. Yeah, we're close. Man, time flies. Look at this. Oh, I remember this. No, I don't. I remember the previous area where she's like, you can't be here. And we're like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, and you stand there. And we're like, wait, wait. What are are we, we stuck here? Oh, that's right. I was wondering if they were going to screw us over there. And I was yeah, like, we I'm afraid. not done! <laughs> we were afraid he was going to force us to go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, then we got in the elevator and it was, it was a weird all-around thing. Why did we go back? Uh, that was that was a mistake. I was trying to oh, crouch. Oh, you were fucking around. I was trying to crouch and it, it just brought me back down. <laughs> I yeah. was like, dang it! Honestly, this game's a maze. Like, even though I, I, I played the fool in Super Metroid, I still had a general idea of the layout of the world. Like, I could kind of fumble my way through it fairly efficiently. Really? I found that this was a lot uh, a lot better at navigating than Super Metroid. I got I, lost in that gameplay. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, this one... I mean, certain, okay, certain areas like this one are a literal labyrinth of just hallways going nowhere. And doors that do nothing. It's, it's really dumb. It's really dumb. Yeah. I think that's when I had... Yeah, I had to go around... Around this place to go... To go get that power bomb Because else... It, w- it wouldn't let me go back to the ship area. This area. And there's a power bomb right there. Hmm. So I had to go a whole... Go around with the tropical area. Yeah. Thankfully, the roots dissipated, so I could go right through. See, no, okay, we ran past those lizard enemies. They're and gone there now. there we go. <laughs> yeah, you can't see them anymore. We got two! We got two! All right, so those lizard enemies that are always up above the floor, or up on the ceiling, or above the floor, they don't do anything with them! Yeah, they, they're they <clears throat> kind of just there. I'm not sure what they had in mind for these. Yeah, I don't know either. All right, here is where we were trying to get the last item. The last item! And you can't also, go Also, the only item you can't get if you pass a certain point. That's and I dumbest. think it's right after the first boss, too. Yeah, it is. We got fucked. Yeah, we were trying to look for another way around, and it's like, well, I guess that's not no, happening. We were screwed. And that's it. We lucked out, and that's where the finale begins. At 1. At 99%. One. At 1! It's so fucking irritating. I cannot get over that. It will get better with the other games. It's like the first item in the game, too. 
The first, not the first item, pickup. Yeah. <sighs> but that's what we went through. All of that for 99% incomplete failure. Complete as it would be. <laughs> as complete as we can get it to be. All right. Well, till next time. Till next time.